Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show, I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's what it is, and that's who I am, and that's what I do, and that's a lot of words. Anyway, this week I am reacting to One of the Good Ones by Jazz Emu, a song that came out a couple months back that I'm just now getting to because holidays and all sorts of other stuff like that. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, yes, welcome. I react to comedy songs from the perspective of a comedy musician, meaning I try to give a little insight into the jokes, into the way the, the song is constructed, into the way the video works with the song, and how well it amplifies the jokes, and sometimes that means either discussing all of that or just sitting back and laughing, because... It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. Uh, also, that means I do pause the song so that I don't miss any jokes, and there's probably going to be a lot of pausing. So if you want to see the song uninterrupted without me yammering all over it, link in the description to see the video. All of that out of the way to say, if you like what you see, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to help feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where patrons get to see these videos early, get to hear my music. That's right, I am a comedy musician myself. I'm working on several projects right now and possibly coming out soon. And uh, also get uh, exclusive Patreon-only reactions for the Stupendium fans out there. There is a new Stupendium reaction coming this month for their Frostpunk songs, so there's that to look forward to. Anyway, all of that out of the way... Let's dive in to one of the good ones by Jazz Emu. The modern masculine repressed, aggressive, desensitized. <laughs> Like the one earring. What is that image? Uh, cool. Also, the aspect ratio being standard for three instead of sixteen nine is is an interesting choice. You know, with the little film flips that's been going through it, like it's a a slideshow or something like that, or or on VHS or something. It's very cool. I'm gonna rewind that a little bit because that is AI art gone wrong. <laughs> Yes, all of these signs to prove that I'm a good one. Uh... <laughs> Obviously, the joke there being that none of those things mean th that you're good. You can still be a creep, even having those things, and also somebody only having those things to prove that they're a good one proves that they're not a good one. Uh, just already inherently funny. Uh, <laughs> look at the way I'm proving how cool I am and how, how much of a good person I am. Easily dateable I am. See? The string of pearls and the one Tibetan earring and, and the fingernail paint. Ah, uh, man. Already quality stuff. One of the good ones. <laughs> Come and fix me. I'm so Stay away from me. I'm unfixable. Come and fix me. No, I'm unfixable. <laughs> Oh, yeah. How could I be? <laughs> it's all about listening, and I can tell you all about that over at a drink at your place. You're not listening, you're... you're Telling instead. Um, irony is what a lot of basis of humor is, and the ironic statement there 
it it's great. It's great. <laughs> Basically, the entire song is about performative allyship. Clearly, no, I, I, I'm what would be referred to many years ago as a metrosexual, or, you know, what most people now say possibly bisexual. Uh, metrosexual meaning kind of like openly free with one's sexuality, kind of ambiguous about it. Some people are, are you know, basically not, not conforming to gender stereotypes and gender norms. Necklace, earring, nail polish, uh, pride flag, but if you imply that I'm gay, I'm going to fight you. No, that's performative allyship. If you have a problem, like, that's the thing. That, that's not an insult. Oh, you're gay. Okay, so that's not an insult. It, people use it as an insult. People use it as a pejorative. It's not an insult. And uh, the the character that Jazzy Mew is playing here of, of the performative allyship is one you commonly see, unfortunately. <clears throat> but he's one of the good ones. I, I wear all the things, but don't imply that I actually am the thing that I'm. Yes. Okay. Explaining jokes. That's sometimes what this show is, and I understand that sometimes explaining jokes kills jokes, but I'm explaining why I'm laughing at it, basically. That's what it, what amuses me, and uh, the structure of it, the way that it, it's building through this is fantastic to me. So, yeah, 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 yeah. just making noises now. Yeah. Close to be one of the good ones. <laughs> that was a really weird looking image where they like en enlarged his head. <laughs> that's just disturbing. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Uh, man, just the, the sheer insecurity of this character. <laughs> Yes, it's pointing to me. <laughs> I kind of wish this section had the lyrics still. I, I, I heard you are deceiving them in there, but I didn't catch everything. We're gonna rewind it a little here because I, I know occasionally Jazz Emu has captions on, so let's see if there's captions for this. Basically, haunted by the demons telling them him, him that he's being performative only. Uh, here's the thing that, that I, I... I said this last week, too, with the, with the Dead by 28 uh, song. Comedy music relies on being able to understand the lyrics to express the comedy. The whole point of a comedy song that you're listening to, the humor is in the lyrics. And if you are unable to understand those lyrics, you're not getting the joke. Uh, Jazz Emu is a fantastic performer and a fantastic lyricist and, and, and you know, all-around great musician. I will admit that there are times when I, I was listening to their, their new album, Digital Spool, and there are some songs on there that I can't fully understand the lyrics. And when I see the music video, yes, the lyrics are on screen, and that's very helpful. Um, 
it's not in the mix, it's not in the mixing of the music, it's just in the way that the music is performed. Uh, sometimes, for other artists, it's in the mix. Sometimes the music is too loud, sometimes the mix is a little muddy, and you can't understand the lyrics because of that. In this case, I think because of the way that the music is being performed, the lyrics aren't coming through as clearly as I would like to be able to understand what they're saying to get the joke of that part of the song. Um, it's just unfortunately a, a thing that happens with these with these songs. It's it's something that happened when I listened to the album. It's something that's happening right now in this section that the lyrics aren't coming up. Uh, as a, as a comedy musician myself, I hate sometimes having to put lyrics on the screen because nothing makes a joke better than reading a joke. Uh, being sarcastic there, obviously. Uh, I feel sometimes that reading it kind of kills the humor, but at the same time, I've noticed when I'm seeing songs that have the lyrics in them, it doesn't kill the joke for me, so I need to get over that. Uh, in instances like this, having the lyrics throughout the whole thing would really help, because this section here especially needs it. Um, it just helps with the understanding of the song a little easier, uh, especially if you are singing in a way that the lyrics aren't clear. I took a long-winded way to say that, I'm sorry, but whatever, you get the point. Dissection, that's what we're doing, discussing the song. I will say, the video production's fantastic. Just the performances of the dancers and, and him reacting to, to what they're doing and singing at him. He's a great performer, and uh, the video, the way it's shot, emphasizes the weirdness of, of what this scene is. I just wish I could understand what they're saying. Headless. Wow. <laughs> That went dark. <laughs> wow. One of the good ones sung by Jazz Emu, directed by Hunter Allen, featuring the dancing stylings of Vincian Jones, Katina... I'm going to butcher these names, Katina Kaving, Olivia Ridley, Kyle Lorraine, and the choreography of Joanna Vimers. Vimeris. Bravo, everyone involved. That is, that is excellent. Oh, little, little Patreon link here at the back, and a little, little selfie bit here of one of the dancers doing the applause on a green screen so it's multiplied, copied in the background of the audience. Good stuff. All right, that was one of the good ones by Jazz Emu. Really enjoyed that. Uh, wish I knew what the chorus part in the end was because none of that had lyrics after that one part started. Um, but still, overall, really enjoyed the song. Hope you did, too. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get to hear my music early, get exclusive Patreon reactions, names in the credits at the end here, and all sorts of other cool stuff like that there. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Working at the butcher shop 12 hours a day Man, I can't get no relief Chopping up the piggies for minimum pay Drowning in a buttload of grease The fridge started smoking, the air started choking What to do with all this swine? Not enough baggage, not enough